Hey there guys, gals, fans, and pals. Welcome back, welcome back. My name is John Megacycle, and this is another episode of Command & Conquer General Zero Hour Challenge Time. I got another neat one for you, ready to kick off. I think I've got it all set up. Uh, yeah, looks right. So, this one uh, is from an unknown. They didn't put in a name, but they have a YouTube channel, or they're a YouTube user. Not sure, but... Uh, normal amount of starting cash resources. Super weapons are not allowed. Challenge notes. Vanilla United States of America versus China tank and or United States of America laser. Um, I just, I'm going up against a China tank. Um, this should be pretty interesting based on the rest of the challenge, so hear me out. You must utilize Paladin tanks as your primary ground vehicle, Stealth fighters as your primary air unit, and Pathfinders as your primary infantry. Other units permitted in supporting and supplementary roles, example, Avengers or Humvees with tow missiles are permitted for anti-air, Rangers are permitted for structure capture. So, my main battalion is going to consist of the Paladin Crusader, the Stealth Fighter, and the Pathfinder. Uh, the Stealth Fighter is actually pretty darn good at busting up base defenses, so that's going to hopefully open up a bit of a spot for me. Um, it's also going to help in killing garrisoned infantry. Uh, with a bunker buster upgrade so that's going to be interesting as the united states um final crusades one of my favorite one-on-one -on -one maps um maybe i'm leveraging a bit to my advantage because there's only two ways the chinese tank general can come through to me so he has to overpower my defenses now the things that are listed here are what i can only attack with it does not say what i can use in defense so i can't use super weapons but i'm assuming i can use patriot defenses um, a lot of missile infantry is really going to be the crux of my defense. Um, but yeah, we're going to get this thing fired off. We're going to cap up our um, what, civilian structures right away. Uh, get a quick setup, and uh, we'll just see where this goes. But yeah, I'm going to have to pay for that Crusader. Uh, no, I'm sorry, the Paladin upgrade. And we'll have to go from there. Okay. Let's get started. I need the Paladin tank, the Stealth Fighter, uh, Spy Drone would be nice, but I also need the Pathfinder. So I need I need a couple things to get started. Um, I do need a... Oh, I don't need a barrack. Well, I do need a barrack because I do want to capture stuff. It was said that I could use infantry in a supplementary role. So I'm going to try to stay as, as close to the challenge as I possibly can. I'm going to try to build as few defensive infantry as possible, even though... I'll straight up admit that Missile Defenders are awesome against the Tank General. Having just a pack of them, freaking poetry in motion. Get on up there. Did, was it C? Did I do that right? Okay, cool. I did do that right. Quick scanneroo. So I can do this real quick. There we go. I, I hate this map for that location. There's just one hill and it drives me absolutely nuts every time. Let you guys get down there. Takes care of that. Now, I'm just using the Rangers for their capturability, and that's it. I'm going to put them in the back of the base. I'm never going to talk to them again. Not so much as a how do you do. Uh, you down there, please. Yeah, right now, a couple of missile infantry, missile defenders, would be just perfect right here. Uh, but, yeah, trying to, trying to not use them. Hmm, infantry this early, huh? That's fine. I've already got a fire base up. Shouldn't be an issue. Oh. Upgrade complete. You sly little jerks. Well, that's interesting because I can't do a darn thing about it right now. That one's done. Yeah. Um, I could run them over. Sounds good. Loud and clear. Um, that seems stupid. Let's not do that. Get enough of these fire bases bound in together, and the defense is going to drop uh, quite a bit of damage. So it's not going to give the enemy a time to fire. Yeah, let him cap that thing. I'll cap it back in a bit. Uh, the thing is, I can't use infantry to attack. Something like this. Always prepared. Ready for action. Cool. I need you guys back here where you're not bothering me or anything else. More fire bases. I literally need to drop tons of damage on the quick. Another two or three fire bases here is going to get me pretty set. And as America, we're not using any power for defense. 
You can take me completely offline. I've still got a defensive perimeter. That's what counts. That's what really pays off. Granted, the EMP stuff and the Patriots and the lasers and all that stuff is great defense, but keeping it like this is going to really... Can you guys not hit that? Our building is being captured. Hold on. Our building is being captured. Hold on. New construction. <laughs> Eat it. Okay, there's the infantry. So if you guys could come up here and cap up there, that'd be awesome. Another fire base is ready. Excellent. The tank general also does not have access to artillery, which makes this really, really important. I could be kind of lazy with my defense like this and not really worry about any long-range repercussions. There's nothing, there's nothing he's going to be able to do except charge in with a bunch of heavy vehicles and pray to goodness it cracks my shell. Uh, guess what? Not going to work. I'm going to get a few more upgrades here. Is there an infantry up here? Okay, I can't use the infantry to attack, so I'm staying true to that. I'm not building a bunch of missile defenders. I'm not nothing. We're going to layer this up a bunch. I would have expected a Gatling tank or two by now. Oh, all right, let's do a little scanning. He's going full bore. Okay, there it is. There's the gats. Upgrade complete. Want these to be grouped up kind of tight? Very tight, actually. Um, let's get War Factory. Get it going. There we go. See? It got a couple of shots off, but nothing else. Why don't you guys just hide in there? I'm never going to talk to you again. This much artillery might seem silly, but, like I said, no power takes care of a lot of stuff. And we're going to do this again. Dun, da, da, dun, da, 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 da. Munch. Can I pretty please? Thank you. That sounds awesome to me. Um, okay, let's get some Paladins producing. No point not to. Uh, Paladins are different from the regular Crusader tank because they get laser countermeasure. They do have the ability to deflect a missile or two. They're certainly not as robust as Avengers, but um, dollar for dollar, I think the extra 200 is worth it. There's the stealth fighter I need to pay for as well. Yeah, there's so much artillery here. This just gets ridiculous, which is awesome for us. Um, we also get drones. I believe I get to use drones. It does not say. I'm going to assume drones are legit. Look at this. Here's all the tank. And we're going to be able to deal a ton of damage before they'll be able to screw us up. Look at that. All that area damage. Brilliant. And we based it so right when it was coming off the bridge. We could have built a little closer where it's on the bridge, but... Okay, we lost a fire base. No big deal. He's losing tons more stuff. Uh, and there's Pathfinder. So I think I have every unit I am able to build. I want to get a bunch of Pathfinders in position and just littered everywhere. That's kind of the plan. Um, another firebase right there, if you could. We lost, what, one firebase? How many tanks did he just lose? Two or three armies worth? I don't know. Quite quite a number. Um, okay. Can I use offensive? Um, sorry, I've got the challenge open on another thing. It doesn't say I'm allowed to use general powers. Um, so I'm going to go into the premise and say I'm not allowed to use general powers. You've got to be kidding me. Alright, I'll be capping that back. Oh, I don't want to put the Pathfinder in guard mode. Just get in there. Uh, infantry? Hi, how you doing? John Megacycle here. Uh, could you do me a solid? Cap that back. There we go. And now they will never, ever, ever be able to do that again. Get you guys spread out a bit. Okay. One more fire base, and I think we've got this all dialed in pretty sweet. Where's my other dozers? Yo, Air Force, get on it. Search and destroy. All the upgrades. Ooh, composite armor. Excellent. Uh, that takes care of that. More of those. 
Cool. That takes care of that from being captured ever, 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 ever again. Now, I kind of wonder how the heck I'm going to get my tanks out of here. <laughs> I'm gonna go Hellfire Drones for the upgrades. Oh, go! Run! Run, you idiot! Oh, craps. Oh, craps. Look at that. Look at that. Just hammering that heavy Chinese armor. And all of this defense working out excellently because we know our foe. And we know we can counter without any high-tech defense. None of the Patriot sites here. It's literally an artillery platform and sandbags. Okay, this might be interesting. This might be a pain in the butt. Oh, run. Run, 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 run. I don't know how we're going to do against that unit. The Overlord. Um, infantry, just go back there, please. Oh, he's just going to change his mind and go somewhere else? Awesome. Oh, well, we're hammering him up pretty good. Every second of defense, or every second of damage we can do without repercussion is... That's exactly what I'm looking for. Awesome. Okay. We're sitting on some good cash. All of this stuff, this entire base I've got so far, one power plant. That's one of the things that I wanted to kind of make a point of. Like, we're doing pretty solid. And you can make a pretty, pretty solid base defensively and everything by mixing your units and your structures. You don't need ironclad structure defense. You don't need a ton of stuff. Um, okay, so what can I use? I'm, I'm trying to go for non... Offensive general powers. It doesn't say I can use it in here. Um, I'm guessing I can, but I just want to stick to the spirit. Uh, leaflet drop is something I consider non-offensive. Emergency repair might be handy with all the tanks. Um, now, I want countermeasures. I want bunker busters. I want laser missiles. And I want four stealth fighters. <laughs> Dear Santa, <laughs> get ready because I've got a heck of a wish list. Yeah, just hammering this this armor. Yeah, I'm rank 5. I'll put money he's rank 0. Or not much, anyway. I'm confident there's going to be... Gats, yep. Gats will detect my drone like nobody's business. Let's see if a propaganda tower can detect. I don't think they can. For some odd reason, I thought they could. Well, if that doesn't prove that they can't, I'm not too sure. Can you get some repairs, dude? Making me very nervous. What's the story? Okay, let's concentrate more on our economy. Building stuff this close is really a bad idea because where? Oh, they found my drone. Um, is really a bad idea because a well-placed artillery strike would completely ruin that stuff. Um, but the enemy has zero promotions as of yet, so I'm kind of not worried. Are you gonna get repaired like I asked you to, or what? Getting every single upgrade on the planet. Preserving freedom. Upgrade complete. I'll be your now the other benefit is because I'm not using units as my defense. Um, there's a lot less of a risk of a chance that they'll get promotions. Look, look at that. Not even a, not even a chance. There we go. What do you get off? One shot. Uh, looks like he has the auto loader upgrade, which he does. Okay, that makes sense. Why it's shot twice. Oh, so many projects, my friend. Now that we're building up the late-game economy, this is where our power is going to be a lot more strained. Yeah, no problem. Uh, I don't feel I could just keep you in there forever, probably. Uh, let's reinforce our position a bit more. Why not? Another power plant over there would just be awesome. Uh... Did I not build more than one? Ooh, I must not have. Okay, whatever. Uh, just hide down there if you could. Okay, a little bit more of a build-up. I want this one attack to be my first and only and final and everything. 
Um, I'm going to need a bunch of Pathfinders for this. Messing around with infantry is not something I'm going to be very thrilled about. So, so make sure we've got the troops. Okay. Stealth Fighters. Let's give you guys a bit of a spin. I want to see if we can isolate a couple of Gats. See, they got threes and everything all over the place. Let's work on... Oh, cheeky. And he's offline. Awesome. Over here. No, this one instead. There we go. That's going to save me a lot of heartache. Just clearing out those simple infantry garrisons. You guys are three. You guys are two. I want at least six more Pathfinders. Pathfinders are fragile. I'm going to lose them. I don't want to. But I'm going to lose them. Pretty sure about it. Now, it says I can use supplementary units for their ancillary abilities. My only real thought with this battalion is an ambulance. An ambulance would be pretty, pretty sweet. Okay. This guy's got nothing for detection over here. Um, wow, take that back. Jeez. Okay, I gotta get moving. Once this Overlord tank gets crunched... Uh, he doesn't have any Gatling on him. So let's see how we can do against a Battlemaster with both of my battalions of... Yeah, not bad. They're not... They're not fighters. Like, they're not... They're not designed to be what I'm trying to use them for, but not bad. Okay. Let's get moving. I see it. Um, any Pathfinder anywhere. Now this is actually a really good point. One of the issues is because I'm using these vehicle or these structures, fire bases, I have no detection at all. I'm not detecting anything that's stealth. So getting a couple of Patriots are now a good idea. Building a few Patriots, make sure we've got that detection that I need. Now, power plant was there, there, okay. Unit lost. We're moving. Any more projects? Protecting our they won't get locked. Get in there, wipe that out. Is there a threat? Unit lost. Upgrade. Good, now I want my pathfinders in there, and that's gonna give me some sweet, sweet anti-infantry cover. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Power next. Cool, Pathfinders are in, so watch this. Uh, Pathfinders, do you guys want to shoot at stuff, or no, or what? Uh, seriously, hello. Okay, my Pathfinders are ineffective, which is awesome. Get in there. Does that help? I don't think my Pathfinders are doing anything. Just stop right there, then. Man, that uh, drop could be awesome right now. Thank you. Holy craps. Just run them through. Take out that power. Good. All this armor just going to waste. Spread around our Pathfinders. 
Okay, once I get him offline, I want to do a little bit of experimentation on damaging uh, Gatling defenses. Offline? Still not offline? You serious? Alright. Still not offline? I'm taking you offline, man. I want to do some experimentation with some stuff. I want to figure out how effective these stealth fighters are. I never really use them. Thank you, offline. Keep it going. Okay. Uh, two and two. Let's see what that does. Actually, let's take out that bunker first. I'm assuming it's full of something. It's not full of anything. And now it's destroyed. And now everything inside of it is absolutely ruined. Awesome. Okay, I'm sitting on some coin. Let's get some more defenses. Let's get some more economy going on. Let's get this party started. Okay, back off because nuclear explosion equals bad. There we go. Okay. Back in the air. I want to know if I need one or two to destroy these, because if I can pick these off with just one, which I really highly doubt, um, that would be awesome. There's one. You need two. But stealth? That makes that amazing in the long run. Anyway, let's go ahead and do some more cleanup, shall we? Yeah, way more projects. I don't have an economy that's coming in constant. Aside from these drops, so get to it. Any more gats? Let's just pick apart the defenses. Take care of that for me, please. Thank you. Take care of this. This challenge has given me actually a bit... Oh, they're veteranized, that's why. Um, I was going to say, how the heck did one take it out? Um, this this uh, challenge actually has given me a bit more of an appreciation for stealth fighters. I don't think they're bad. They're just kind of limited use, in my opinion. If you two could go there, you go in the church, you hang out there, you can hang out a little closer... Frickin' sniper buffet. And we'll go full hellfire. Just guard it up. You guys as well. Come on in. Stealth fighters, why don't you finish off this supply depot? See if that'll do it for us. Okay, back it up. And they shall arrive two by two, hands of blue. Holy crap. You see that thing go orbital? <laughs> I wonder if that truck will ever come down. You are victorious. Oh, parts of it. <laughs> okay. That worked out very well. So, United States tanks only, or not tanks only. Uh, what did we use? We used the Paladin tank, the Pathfinder, and the Stealth, stealth Fighter. Worked out pretty darn well. I'm really happy with how we played out our abilities. Again, fire bases is what totally did it. Um, the only thing that we found about halfway through, is they don't provide stealth detection, which I knew, but I wasn't sure if the tank general is going to be using Black Lotus anyway. So, that wraps up for this challenge. Thank you all very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to catch you next time.